This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by Dice.com, the career hub for tech. Netflix, go to www.netflix.com slash Dignation for your free trial membership. And extremely happy cowboys. Wow, it is amazing out here, isn't it? Beautiful day. Oh, my hat is small. I do tie my dick in the saddle. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. Alright, moving on. Why do you have <laughs> flies in your freaking house? I know this is so in, in Southern California and I have fruit. You put zombie and you put ear in the title and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com Hello friends, welcome to Dignation episode number 331. 301. 301. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website, dig.com. That's D-I-double-G dot com. We are back in the impregnator mm. layer. We are. Prager's condo. This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. Mm. Uh, South by Southwest was a trip. Ugh. Dude. We had a good old time. We had a two good time. You <laughs> it, know what I'm going to say, though, hmm. about it? I'm going to say. You, you were in and out, though. You I was in, in and out. I was in and out. But I'm going to say, I had barbecue twice, both mm-hmm. times. Pretty disappointed. Where'd, where'd you go? Uh, places. You don't know. I don't want to. Have you been to the Salt Lake yet? No, I don't the think I have. The Salt Lake is supposed to be phenomenal, but it's I, a half I, hour no, drive. No, well, every time I go, I have great barbecue. I just went this time and was like, I need barbecue. Went and wasn't satisfied with the barbecue I got. So I was, that was a little disappointing. I was in and out, so I didn't have much time to have the barbecue. Well, next South by Southwest, will you stay for a few days? Yeah, well, yeah, that, this was, I, I stayed for a couple days last year. The year before, I stayed for like the whole film festival. And then this year, it was just like, and I, you know, it was like, I didn't know anybody was going. I didn't know, I wasn't doing anything else. Let's get else. a good hotel this, yeah. this coming year. I always forget to Which book. Means we need to book it Let's now. book it right now. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a good because one of the things if you don't go to the conference and you have no idea what we're talking about, it's this conference in Austin, <clears> Texas. <throat> you watched two ignitions ago. We did a live show there. Yeah. Uh, the last ignition was actually there as well. It's amazing. It's like a geeks gone wild freaking conference. They shut down the streets. There's drinking yeah. and partying in the streets. It's nonstop partying for like five days. But you know, it's a lot to take in. It and is if you a lot don't to take book. In. Ahead of time, you get put like fucking like sticks. twenty miles. I was happy that I actually got it. I wasn't that far outside of town, but even like seven blocks outside of town, you're not gonna walk into town. What you really want to do is be able to kind of stumble out of your hotel room, go to some stuff, right? Get some drinks, get fucked up, and get walk back to your up hotel, and room. then stumble back to your hotel room. That's kind of the ideal, right? You know what I mean? We yeah. should say at the Four Seasons. That's what I'm saying. That was nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's, eh, it's, it's okay. a few blocks away. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. we stayed there. I stayed there this year, and it was it was just okay. It was like, don't get me wrong, it's a nice hotel. But the more important to me, like I, I can give a fuck whether it's the W or what hotel it is. I just want to be central. That's yeah. the most important, yeah. important Seriously, part. Seriously, it could be a freaking Marriott Suites if you want it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm down with like a fifty dollar yeah. night hotel room. I just want it to be like where the action is. Yeah. I like where we stayed last year. Jesus, don't even get me started on that. It was like corporate housing for like crack cocaine dealers. And then we were out in the stick sticks. So Prager's so, got a new invention. Well, Prager unfortunately didn't invent this, which is, or fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know. So this is actually called the Limebrero. It's a little hat. It's a little hat, and then you squeeze your lime into the Limebrero. Wow, Kevin is like in it. Look at that. Dude, that's fucking awesome. I want one of the Limebrero. Are, we, are they probably keep us? Or yeah, just, you can keep that. Well, Are they so well? He, no, but here's the thing. They've been such good, big fans of Dignation. We oh, actually yeah. met them at South by, uh, but they decided that in honor of our 301st uh, Hats off episode, to you. Hats off they're to you, going Lime to Bro. give away 301 oh, Lime Breros. Yeah, or not Lime Breros, but the combo of the two. The combo products, of the two, because then there's this other one here. I'll do this. I'll do the other one, which is you put that on there like that. Putting my uh, business lumbrero <laughs> on for a second. Yeah. Uh, did we get a cut of this at all? Did we get like any kind of? Well, well they give it away for free. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. So here we go. I'm what you do? A million limbreros. Yeah, right. So you take your limbrero, and the, this is the limbrero hole. I made that up. But basically, it allows you to put the thing into your beer without having to like shove it through the sides and get it all gunky. Like, what? remember how it always like creams on the side? You put it through there. It's like a little right funnel. It's a lime funnel. I like those though. What? Yeah. You can't little... put a big one though. I like them. If this fits. Oh, damn it. Do it. Do it. It's not gonna fit. It's Do it. Fucking big. I was hoping it would like compress it down. Well, it does, like a... but that's a little big. But here, let's make it bigger than it would be. Okay. This is this is all technical. We're just trying this. Right. So here's the we thing. Totally so you can see. Show. Look, that wouldn't 
quite do the do the business. Okay. But now if I go over to Kevin's, let me push my own the hole. In Wait, there. I gotta do it. You're sick. And I use the yeah, hole. Yeah, it's my fucking. There it goes sickness. right through the hole. Look at that. Boo! Yeah, right in, straight in. All right, it's a fucking. I like top. the Limebrero better. This is I'm way just, better. I'm, the is Limebrero way better. is way this better. Is cool. But so we give away you're getting the set. So we're getting 301 of those away. The set. Which is amazing. So if you go to limebrero.com slash dig301, you can get uh, details. All um, you have to do is land your helicopter on a Lombrero. And uh, although we did give away some of those freaking. We should give the people who got the shirts, we should be able to say, we give should them send limbreros. them Limbreros. Send them Limbreros? Yeah. Like yeah. we should forever There's like get 20, our free shit like 20 far, 25 winners of the landing the beers. Oh, that's a lot. No, no, anyway. <laughs> uh, How much do they cost normally? Uh, like six, seven bucks. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not crazy. Nah. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, well, shall we get into this, to the show? Yeah, sorry for coughing. I got sick at Southwest yeah, Southwest. Yeah, I'm just getting over it. Go for it. So the first story... <clears throat> oh, yeah. ...isn't really, is theoretically a story. It's a news story. It's a story that was on Dig, but we just wanted to talk about some stuff. It was. So there was a story on Dig a few days ago that I would be stepping down and leaving Dig.com. Correct. I knew this day would always come. Yes. And the day is now. So what's up? 1,547 people dug the story. <clears throat> Kevin Rose resigns from Dig, closing round on new startup. So, uh, six and a half years at the old Dig. Bro, I How long don't... have we been doing the show for? Almost six years? Six years. Yeah. So it's six so... years August? Or seven years August? Six years August. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, because if you were six and a half It's years, roughly, right. what, 50 divided by... It'll be seven years in November well, no, for it's... Dig. Yeah, because it, um, it was August 2004, right? Or was 2004 when we did Screensavers? Uh, November 2004 is when I started Dig. So it must have been 2005 was when we did August 2000. Right. 2005 was Dignation. Yeah. So you know it's been it's been a long time and uh, yeah. So six years in 2011. It, it, it's funny when I go into the dig office, a lot of employees have left. A lot of the original crew is is gone. We got new fresh talent in, which is great for the company. Yeah. Um, we got a new CEO on board. Yeah. Um, and after all the drama with Dig Four and the stability issues and the product stuff and yeah. all the things that happened, I wanted to make sure that. I stuck around long enough to, one, fix the majority of those issues. So you'll see a lot of stuff has been uh, either fixed up. fixed up or revamped or whatever, and <clears> it's <throat> a lot better on the site. Um, two, give the CEO enough time to kind of like get set. Yeah. Uh, you know, and understand, take the, the reins and understand what's going on. Um, and then it just felt like I, I, I finally came to this place where myself and, and a friend that I've known for a long time, uh, who we'll be talking about shortly, announcing and is joining me in this new company. We started throwing around some ideas of, you know, what uh, what we wanted to do. Yeah. And he was being courted heavily by Facebook and by Twitter and a few other companies. And he started talking about, you know, joining a lower level company like a new startup. And I was yeah. like, dude, if you're gonna join a freaking startup, let's just make one. Why don't we just like yeah. pursue some of these ideas that we have? And so he was on board. And so <laughs> basically, uh, you know, I, I'm still on Dig's board of directors. I still meet with Matt, the CEO, I'd say, you know, probably every week to every other week for lunch or something like yeah. that. We go over like designs and mock-ups and whatnot. So I'm not totally gone, gone. I'm not responsible for the day-to-day -day decision making at the company. Yeah. Um, so this seemed like one of those things that, that was sort of news that was just everybody getting to know what's sort of been brewing for a while. You know what right. I mean? Like it didn't, it well, didn't shock me. I got a lot of emails that were like, oh, crazy. And I was like, oh, right. That's sort of news to you. Right. Like, that, right. I mean. It, it I mean, felt like that's what had been happening slowly over time. For I mean, sure. It's sort of official now. For but, sure. You know what I mean? But it's always good yeah, to I mean, for new the people shit. That, the people that knew me, like, personally, you've known that it's been a couple of years of me kind of trying to figure out a way, or the right time yeah. to kind of make a jump. And it's not that I think that Dig is dead. I mean, I think we, they've got a bunch of traffic, a bunch of users. Uh, the site's getting better and better with time. I just feel that... I'm ready for something new, like yeah. personally and professionally, like I'm just ready for a clean break and to do something new. So, and that's what really ends up happening is you get these things where I mean, it's also one of the things. Another thing, just that we should mention to you guys, is it's not going to have any effect on the show. Uh, one of the things that I was getting a lot of Twitters about was like, oh no, Dignation's going right, to go right. away because if Kevin's not a Dig, then why did it... this show is yeah about Dig.com? But at the end of the day. It's just sort of a name. We're still talking about stuff on Dig.com. That's not going to change. You know what I mean? Like. We're, it's just us sitting down and having a good time chatting about shit we're going to do anyway. For and sure. the other thing is, is that we've gotten this show down to such a level that it's so low impact for us 
that it's not like a nine to five day to day job right, right. that you can get sick of after six years. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it's still very fun and fresh mm. and new. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure there'll be some point in time where where you and I sit down and like figure out a way. Like something will happen. One of those will get married. Something will happen weird that causes like. Yeah, you know things to come to an end. Yeah, but you'll move to France and l yeah, right. live under a stone. Uh, something like that. Something happen. like that. But but you but know that's, we, we're that's like saying we're having a good time. Yeah, but that's I mean that's like saying at some point I'm gonna be 50. It's like well yeah but why well, think you know right now I'm 34. I'm gonna do that. That's right. Uh, As so that's it. Were. That's all I have well, to cool, announce dude. now. Uh, I'll have more details coming soon. Nice. No, actually, what's happening? Uh, well, speaking of, I guess it's a startup. Not, I mean, it's been around for ages, but Firefox uh, has just, Mozilla has just released Firefox 4. Now, the big thing is, is that Internet Explorer owns the majority of the stats of web browsers, uh, IE8, right? IE9 came out, Microsoft put out Internet Explorer How 9. How is it? Do you have it? I have not tried it yet. I should try it though. Um, and they said that they were really impressed by the downloads of the, the beta for it. And did, then did what they happened was... they announce IE9 for like Mac OS? That I don't know, but you can try. I wish they would. No, I don't think so. Anyway. Well, maybe I just, I would, like, Microsoft needs to embrace the fact that they're not the only game in town. And like they've been so stuck on like, hey, it's only about Windows. Like every product we do is Windows only. And I, I just wish that yeah, they would... Windows, I mean, Yes, okay. they don't have it. Okay. I mean, I, I, I kind of get that, but that's like saying, why is Apple only using the iOS and not opening it up to other people to develop their operating systems? I'm not talking, like, well, they no, are but I'm not, talking about the individual product, though. I mean, think about, like, cr like uh, Safari now exists on Windows. Yeah, but that was, iTunes I think that, exists on Windows. that literally, was, iTunes had to, because that's where the majority of people were going to buy. The only reason that, if iTunes didn't do that, it wouldn't be able to sell as much music as they do, so they had to do that. Or no, but what I'm units. saying is, like, why, do, why not give the, why not throw an extra 15, 20 developers at this and put it, make it so it can run on OS X? I mean, I'm I mean, sure there's that, some people like you. That's fine. That would love to have, you know, Internet Explorer on OS X, although you don't use Internet Explorer anymore, do you? You're no, no, but that's what, uh, I'm actually, well, Chrome on the laptop, but I use uh, Firefox. I, I love Firefox. I think Firefox is great. Okay, whatever. I'll download this later. But anyway, so Microsoft was super excited because they released the beta of I, um, IE9. Mm -hmm. it, they said it got tons of downloads. They were super excited about the, the thing. Well, Firefox put out, or Mozilla put out Firefox 4 for beta, and it, in a day, doubled the downloads of IE9. So it's sort of that big thing of like, <coughs> you know, is it really news if you're getting downloads of a beta? Really, it's this type of it's it's these three numbers. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised that Chrome has so much. Well, but we don't see the other side of this. IE is still dominating though. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, take yeah. a look at IE six, seven, eight. I mean, that's yeah, look at what Safari is that? It's is like, like it's like at least thirty or so percent. Mm. But that's a great example of why. I mean, yeah, they could try to crack into that, but this is all the same thing. This is all built into Apple. Right. So they're gonna get like a little sliver of that. They have this fucking giant line here. Why, why waste time putting this little, getting that little itty bitty sliver there when it seems to be working fine? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I get it. It's it would be better for it to just sort of be open and everybody can use it. Woo! You know what I mean? But would you actually use it? No. Right. But it, yeah, I, just, I would. There are some Windows the products thing, I think I might use. Yeah, but uh, you mean that Microsoft makes? Well, like Microsoft Word is that available for of for? Course. Mac, and I know a lot yeah. of people, my Mac friends, that have to use Microsoft Word, right? Yeah, that's sort of the ubiquitous office software. I don't know what else there is out there that, that Microsoft makes that I would, I would use. Microsoft, but. I mean, it, it makes, the operating system is its main sort of thing, and then things built into the operating system. Um, I actually use their virus. They, had, they came out, finally came out with a free uh, internal virus scanning stuff. So I was like, yeah, might as well. I mean, I would never go out and get a virus scan, because it's, I mean, if you're smart, enough, you can pretty much avoid a virus, you know what I mean? You know when your friend sends you an email that's all misspelled and words don't make sense and there's right. an attachment that says like make money now dot yeah, MOV, yeah. like you don't fucking click that button, you know what I mean? Right. So I've never, I just haven't had a virus scanner, but then when they came out with the, the free one that was like built in, I was like, well, I might as well, I mean, if it's built in and it just does it in the background, scans it and... What do you think about uh, Firefox 4? I haven't tried it yet. You know what, I take that back. I downloaded it, but it felt very beta-y. Like it crashed a couple times. You and got I was like, the one before mm. the final, is that right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've been using is it the on final my desktop. Out? Yeah, the final's out. This oh, I thought this is the beta. No, 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 this is the final. Oh. So, 
Oh. It's a lot <clears throat> faster. That's one of the things I yeah. noticed. Like, you know how Chrome is one of those things where when you started using it, you were like, damn, I'll use it just because it's so damn fast? Yep. Same thing now with, with Firefox. It's insane. I, I couldn't, I gotta go and delete my old Firefox before I copy this one over. But anyway, I don't have anything to show for here. That's okay. Yeah. Um, but Whoa, you gotta take my word for it. Do they have a, they have a, unibar, uh, a single bar, uh, search bar? Uh, oh, you mean if you, oh, is it's it like, a great question. Is it work question. like Chrome like that? Cause With that's what? one of the, like the single bar. It's like you don't have a search bar and a URL bar. You oh. One. That's the, one of the main things I love about Chrome over everyone else. It's just hmm. that. Yeah, that's a huge one, actually. That you can just search right directly in the bar with Chrome. Yeah, uh, yeah I guess. I, I, I guess I don't use Chrome as often. I, I only use Chrome on this, on my laptop, just because I, I had it. But, um... <clears throat> I'm going to try it right now. Bam, launching Firefox. Launching. Open, bam, open, converting. Compatibility issues. Opening, bam. Okay, so let's just say I'm in the box. It doesn't have a unified bar. I type in Apple. Let's just say I type in well, does, Alex. I mean, it has a search string, but try it. Oh... Correct. Yeah, it works. Well, I mean, that's, yeah, but. No, that's what we're talking about. Apple on the tree. But why do they even bother putting the other bar in? I don't there? know. Yeah. It's well, because, weird. no, you know why? Because people don't know that that's what Chrome does. I didn't know that Chrome did that for a while. You know what I mean? You see these tab groups? Look at that. Boom, tab groups. Watch Man, this. I don't know if I like tab, get rid of, tab groups. Get rid of tab groups. Well, I don't want to do that. I guess I do. Bam. I mean, it's got an undo button. That's epic. That's like so 1987. Yeah, I don't know about tab groups either. It, I mean, a... what do I need? Tabs is enough. You know what I mean? It's one of those things. Tabs is enough. Well, you could have this like, like let's just say you had your morning news sources and you had like five sources that you want to just open up in a little group. I don't know. I don't For use what? Them. I don't use them. This oh, is a lot of you mean like, like then you can go like, I'm just going to be, I want to go do my news tabs. Right. And then you click through just those and you're like, no, I need my porn tabs again. Right, exactly. And then you alt shift finger tab or right. whatever to get the other tab highlighted. There's too many fucking tabs. It's too like an 80s Diet Coke commercial. <laughs> it's like there's too much tab. How about a Diet Coke? Uh, that was a tab joke, ladies and gentlemen. You may have to go to Wikipedia to see what the fuck that is, but uh, tab, pink, oh, ladies. Oh, the cans used to have the, the little curlies on it. The tail away, where yeah. like pineapple juice still does that, sometimes. Dude. No, t for You're pineapple juice. You're the only one here that remembers that the. I don't remember ways. it on Sony, on, on, on Sony, on sodas, but like pineapple juices, yeah. it would be there for. It's yeah, been there but it was, for a while. that was a plastic. That was like a little like. It's aluminum. A little aluminum thing. You're talking about like the pull away yeah. metal. Yeah. You mean like on like patched like, stuff? Like, yeah. like no, beers I don't remember that. have that, right? I don't remember that. Someone ought to bring those cans back. Like if there was like an old school beer and it had like the old pull aways, I'd be like, fuck yeah. Well, my, my friend's brother, he used he to. Cut uh, himself. No, no, no. Well, I mean, maybe. Maybe. You might have. I don't yeah. know. But uh, those little tabs, you connect them to each other, and then you string them across your ceiling, and you're like, look how many beers I drank. Did you ever take... <laughs> did, you, did you ever pop the tab off, and if you got a full circle, yeah. and you gave it to that a girl... You get, yeah, you get laid. You get laid, <laughs> yep. Exactly. Wait, what is that? What is that? What's, okay. That's so, not the metal one. Do you have a soda? Do you have a soda? Oh, no, that's not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. You, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Off, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if it's broken, that means you don't get laid. Okay. And so if a girl would give that to you, she'd be like... She'd be like, yeah, so like, here's what you do. Okay, you hold on. you drink this? I'll drink it. Okay. So you take it like that. Okay. And then you turn it around like this. Okay. Okay? And then slowly, you just kind of work it. Work it like a little... There you go. So hey. right there, that means you're getting fucked if you hand that to somebody. Yeah, <laughs> don't, don't give that to me, dude. Don't not give that to me. So girls in high school back in the day would carry these around with them, and then they'd just like hand it to you and be like, hey, hello. And then like, you got, you got you're like, oh shit. I'm getting you're like, shit. I better go buy condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why that was. Why? Because why? It's, a, it's, a, it's a perfect hole. It's not a broken hole. Broken hole. Gotcha. It's like a solid heart of wanting peen. It's horrible. Wow. It's horrible. Okay. No, that's good. Love anyway, you. good luck, Firefox. <laughs> you know what, Firefox? We're going to give you one of those unbroken circles because we want you to fuck something. I don't know it's what that means. Sense. It's horrible. All right, let's get on the next story of the day, which is my story. Former, am I right on the story? Is that my story? Former Apollo? Okay, former oh, I'm interested about this. Yeah. Apollo astronaut calls on the U.S. government to open up about aliens. This is kind of crazy. Okay. So this is the guy that did the longest uh, spacewalk on the moon. Ooh. Uh, so he spent the most time... Yeah, Edgar Mitchell. 
Okay. So he's one of the former Apollo 14 astronauts uh, that spent uh, the most time moonwalking. He had the longest moonwalk in history in 1971. Hold on, that's Michael Jackson. We all know it. <laughs> yeah. Moonwalker, the movie. He did the most moonwalking in history. No. So he's number two after Michael Jackson. Okay, so go on. So he was at the National Press Club in Washington after the X Conference. And a, it's a convention for uh, UFO uh, researchers and activists. Okay. And he said, this so is crazy a quote, con. we are being visited, end quote. Quote, oh. it is now time to put away the embargo of the truth about alien presence. I call upon our government to open up, dot, 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 and become a part of the planetary community that is now trying to take our proper role in, as a space-faring civiliza civilization. Holy shit. And this, this is what he says. Does he, did he say that he saw like some thing on the moon? So, he's, so he, Mitchell, who's got his PhD in aeronautics and uh, astronautics. Astronautics. From MIT. Astronautics? Astronautics. Kevin's not just making shit up. No, he's not. a PhD in astronautics, which is why he's an astronaut? Yes. That's Nobody else thinks that that is fucking bullshit. Why is that bullshit? That's like saying I'm, I'm a, I, I, I majored in hamburg design. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, McDonald's has a fucking like, I know, school but. you can go to. During the practice of navigating beyond Earth's atmosphere. Thank you. Ah, damn. Of First off, I've now just decided a degree I must receive for it is the pimpest to say. Astronautics? I have a PhD in astronautics. <laughs> it is Does, Are you an astronaut? No. I just study in the celestial navigation of the astronauts. I know how they move, they think, they poop. <laughs> it's probably pretty hard. All right, so go on. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to digress on the PhD in astronautics. So this but is what he that's said. Fucking epic. This is, he goes on to say the sun will burn <laughs> out in due course, and we have to be off this planet if our species is to survive. I agree at with this that. point. Oh, in wait, so look at it. You don't think the sun's going to stop being a I sun? I believe that the sun will burn out, but right now, if we're worried about it, there's other bigger problems worrying about how many hundreds of millions of years it'll take with the sun. Shouldn't we start thinking about it? I mean, hundreds of millions of years. How do you know that? How do you, do you know we'll burn out tomorrow? I think that What's your PhD in astronautics say? An asteroid has a greater chance. An Earth extinction, extinction level event has yeah. more of a greater chance to yeah. happen yeah. before the yeah. sun burns. Yeah, no, and guess what? No we should Prager. be off this planet when that happens. Prager, listen. Yeah, no offense. No offense, but you do, not, you do not have a PhD in astronautics. <laughs> that I know of. That, that we know of. I mean, it is Although he did go to the University of Phoenix like, Astronaut worry, School. <laughs> <laughs> worry about, like, I'm going to start Earth taking classes on my way back home. Is valid. Um, worry about the sun burning out right now? I'm not worried about it. Is it invalid? Well, dude, if it did, we're kind of fucked, right? It's not going to happen for hundreds of millions of years. But it is going to happen. So you're telling me there's a chance. Uh, so you're saying there's a chance. Okay, so he grew up in Roswell, New Mexico. And he said that, <laughs> he said that residents had been hushed and told not to talk about their experience by military authorities, and, or they would suffer, quote unquote, dire consequences. I just love that. That sounds like Steve Jobs talking to his employees. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what else he said. Uh, he said that in 1998, 90%, he's 90% sure that many of the thousands of unidentified flying objects are UFOs. So wait, in 1998, he's 90% <laughs> sure? Hold on. That's a lot of 90s. Let me, let me start, let me start this yeah, over. Yeah, go back. You're not reading in an that. Interview, sick. In an interview with the Times in 1998, yes. he said that, he said, he said <laughs> It's he clear. Is, You're quoting someone. He said he is, quote, 90% sure that many of the thousands of unidentified flying objects or UFOs recorded since the 1940s belong to visitors of other planets. He, nice. And he so also he, said, so there's a 10% chance he's just plain wrong. Right. Okay, so he at least said, he's He said, a few insiders know the truth. And they, that they have been studying our bodies for years. <laughs> you know, this is getting serious now. Here's the thing. This is the, this is the thing. I want somebody, and maybe this is the guy. It sounds like it's not the guy. But I want somebody who is totally rational, who has a totally rational argument to be made about it. Because I don't know, pro or con, about UFOs. I'd like to believe that we're not the only people in existence on the world, because that's cool. That's a cooler place to live, right? It's a cooler place to live. Well, we already are not I, the only people to exist. I don't know what that means, but like I, there's dogs and bacteria and all kinds of shit that are out there. And we just don't think they're UFOs because they live on this planet with us. 
Because they're not unidentified flying objects. That's why we don't call them that. A dog is a fully right, identified, but, but they say, even if it's flying through the air, it's a fully identified found, flying they object. They found bacteria on what? On, um, yeah, but that wasn't true. Mars? That wasn't true. That was a big thing. And they said, well, well we were wrong. But here, long story short, long story short, I don't have a strong opinion pro or con as far as this, the UFOs visiting. Could be. It'd be awesome if it was. You know what I mean? So I don't want to say it's not. That's, that's impossible. You're a crazy person. But I just wish there was less crazy people trying to have valid arguments about this happening. You know what I mean? You're saying like about watch, the UFO. Yeah, like I'll watch some of the UFO stuff. And some of this, the points that they make are really interesting. Like there's this... Um, I can't remember if it's if it's um, if it was like a, a not a tribe in Mexico, but like if it was the Aztecs, Incas, or, or it was somebody like either the Aztecs or the Incas or the ancient Egyptians. They had these, they made these little like trinkets that looked like airplanes, and that they actually had these guys that were like, well, these look like airplanes, and they actually look like they're designed with aerodynamics that these people didn't know anything about. They didn't have like paper, like there wasn't paper airplanes back then, you know what I mean? So they actually they built the model of this thing, blew I'm it sure up, and it flew. sure somebody made a flew. fucking papyrus airplane. You, nobody knew about airplanes before fucking- Yeah, but if you have papyrus paper, I'm gonna fold some shit and try and make it, you're gonna throw it at your friends and shit. Yeah, but nobody did that until Wilbur Wright. Uh, I mean, that's a fact. <laughs> Uh, but, but here's the thing, I watch this stuff and it's like crazy people talking in crazy ways, but then they have these little kernels of things where you're like, well, I could actually buy that. I wish there was somebody who wasn't as crazy that had the same feelings that could articulate them. Do you know what I mean? Like it's always the guy with like the wacky hair who's like, well, I mean, then, and then they get off on these other things. Like you'll, you'll be like, oh, that's interesting about this thing. And then they get off on this tangent of how, right. you know, they were, oh, well, and then, you know, they came and they had sex with all the people, so we're actually all aliens. And you're right, like, you're you like, know, you uh, lost me. You took a left at the, you know, the yeah. vagina. And I wish you could have stayed on the little aircraft. Do you ever listen to that, uh, that guy that does that late night talk show? Oh, he's, he's, out in the desert. he's out in the desert. He's all about aliens. Yeah, he is. Because he has like four cameras on the desert. And I shouldn't say, I should, I should say. I should watch I, that I don't show. Wanna, I don't want to say. It's only good fun. That those Even people, if you don't believe it, like fucking watch it. You yeah, know? but here's the thing. I should it's say, I don't want to say that those people are crazy. I'm just saying that they have some extreme views that I c could not agree with. Whereas I feel like I want somebody who has this sort of logical view of this one specific thing that it makes a lot of sense to me and then doesn't go off into these tangents of stuff that I just can't, can't get behind. I just wish that there were the, those people, you know. Go, go read Stephen Hawking. He said that he talked about how aliens exist and here's why mathematically I think it's rational that there's other life and as well as intelligent life, and then he goes on to say that you should probably, why are we trying to find them, make ourselves visible, because odds are pretty good that they won't care, and yeah. they, might, they very well might like that all they care about is resources, and so they give two shits about intel the definition of intelligent life, and they just want to take us for what we're worth, and who cares? Yeah. He's like, why are you trying to be seen? Just, it's not worth it. Interesting. Uh, that that's actually interesting. is interesting. If you want to Google type Stephen Hawking aliens, you'll find a bunch of cool articles. He's smart. Yeah, that's scary as hell if you think about it. Cause like, what if aliens are like freaking huge, like the size of like, you know, skyscrapers and shit, that and they, they come in big ass ships, that would be horrible. and they're just like they see us as little ants that are stepping on us and fucking taking trees. That's and our shit. lunch, and that is horrible. Huh? Don't talk to aliens. Warn Stephen Hawking. I mean, would you rather die from like cancer or getting crushed by an alien? Come on. Uh, probably cancer because there's you, actually you wonder, some cures for I that. I bet you there would be like, let's just say for example. Maybe not big cures, but, but more cures than being flattened wait, by wait, aliens. Wait, wait, wait. Let's say aliens come down here, okay? Yeah. okay? We're sitting here right now. It's like fucking ships all over the place. We're like, what the fuck, you know? And they let us know that, that they're going to take over the fucking world. They're going to kill us all. They're going to take our resources. And there's nothing okay. we can do about it. We shoot our missiles. Fucking nothing happens. It'd be a fucking party, wouldn't it? We would be partying in the streets. If you knew you only had like four days to live. There'd be one hell of a party. People would have sex all over the place. Actually, the best part would be that might confuse, that might scare the shit out of the aliens. Just think if you're gonna go invade, like you're gonna go invade a store. I don't know why I said store. There's like 50 of you guys, there's like 10 store people, and you go in there, and we're gonna, like, we're gonna come in that store, we're gonna fuck you up, we're gonna take all your shit in the store, we're gonna kill you guys. So get ready. And they're all like, woo! And fucking take their shirts off and start having sex. I'd be like, I don't wanna go into that store. I do not want to go into that store because that is some man. crazy fucking stuff. It'd be stuff. what? Unmanned. Like if you were to assume an alien civilization can get somewhere, you think they're going to have the people, the 
<clears throat> how fucking, oh, how funny would that be? No, 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 like you know the Mars rover? How fucking funny would that be if you're like walking along and all of a sudden this thing's like wham from the sky and it's like ch -ch -ch -ch, and it just starts like moving around and like looking at rocks and like moving around and like picks up a Diet Coke can and is like <laughs> Dude, and you're we like, what the fuck is that? I'd, I'd destroy the fuck out of it. <laughs> Because that's exactly what the Mars. I mean, go to town? just think if you're walking along and like some alien Mars rover lands right in front of you and just starts like digging in the shirt, like ground, and you're like, like what the fuck? Shit. Yeah, it's like looking at and this dog comes up and it's like, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. I tried to study how they shoot with a laser to make it evil, like shooting with a laser to try and study it. Yeah, <laughs> fucking love it. All right, let's hope aliens come someday. <laughs> well, I hope that. Here's the thing. I I feel like. Well, I don't know. It would be big, but I kind of feel like we're already... If I was the government and I was sitting on a bunch of documents and proof that there are aliens and they do exist and that they've come here, whatever, which I don't know if that is true, that that, ha <coughs> that, that exists, but if I was, you know, it seems like everybody's kind of okay with this, this life on other planets. You get these little bacteria things and people go, oh, there, are, there is life on other planets. Cool. Maybe you just start letting it out a little, little by little, little by little, and then over the course of a couple of years, See, you get to that point where you're like, yeah, whatever, it's aliens. This is why I don't buy, because if the government official knew about this, or <laughs> enough government officials, somebody's going to leak this shit, right? Well, that's right? the thing. Dude, and it hasn't lips. happened yet. Like, if I'm the president right now, and I heard about there's aliens, and I know for a fact there's aliens, like, and I'm on my deathbed, I'm going on TV, and I'm like, hey, I'm going to die soon. There's fucking aliens out there. I'm going to tell <laughs> everybody. Right? Yeah, it's like, what are they going to give you? More money or like, you know, not he kill you? He just majored in astronautics. He's full of shit. That's amazing. Yeah. I fucking love it, dude. All right. All right. Uh, boy, it's really hard going from, you know, strong believers in UFOs to PETA. It's kind of a, just a chain of interesting things. PETA is, again, another thing. <coughs> where I could totally get behind. I mean, I'm a meat eater, and so I, I apologize that we have different beliefs in the food structure. That's cool. I wish that you guys would just stop being so um, uh, interesting in your decisions of fights to have. Right, exactly. Because I feel like I could get behind some of your fights. I, I could agree. get behind some of your fights. Some of the fur shit, like fur yeah, scarves I could, and shit. Dude, I could, get, I could get behind that. I'm, I don't wear fur. I don't wear fur. And there are jackets that I like that have fur. And I go, I'm not going to buy that because it's fur. Are they, are they luxurious? They're yes. luxurious. Do they feel comfy? Are they warm? Yes. yes. Does it feel like you're hugging a bunch of dead b <laughs> bunnies? Yes. Is it awesome? Yeah. yeah. But you don't. Kind of. eh, you, you, we're with you on that. Yes. Okay? We are with you on that. Nobody wants dead bunnies. Nobody wants dead bunnies. Uh, except maybe uh, wolves or something, or jack-o'-lanterns. Jack-o'-lanterns? Here's the thing. You go onto these tirades. You, you make these attacks on things that are just not that important. And it makes you question whether you can ally your opinions to a company that feels that way, or yes. to a, a, a group that feels that way. Because you feel like, I can't you know, align myself with crazy people. And you make yourself seem like you're crazy. So here's what uh, PETA has asked to the mayor of San Francisco, which is, wrote a, a very curt letter of demanding that the mayor of San Francisco change the, the name of the Tenderloin District. Which is a district in San Francisco. District in San Francisco to something that is not involving meat. No, they said get rid of the loins. They're just called the tender. No, no, no. They want it to be called tempeh, which is a, a soy-based oh protein pack. <laughs> tempeh is a, is a protein to, packed food made is. from soybeans is healthy, cruelty-free meat substitute. Fuck that. We're, in contrast- If we renamed anything, we renamed it to bacon. The, well, I think they would have just as much a problem with that. So. It, it just goes to that whole thing of that is the fight that you're gonna take. Yeah, it's they've run out of fights. They literally run out of fights because who gives? I don't care if it's called Murder Town. The, who cares? It's a name of a place. You know what I mean? Like I don't. Uh, yeah, I hear the squealing too, and I think it's is dying. It no, it's in the outside. I don't know what's going it's something. Maybe it's oh, aliens. It, was it could be the aliens you're talking about. But here's the, I just, it's one of those things where I'm like, dude, PETA, 10% of the time I'm with you. I get it. I mean, I'm not going to stop eating meat because I think that there's, I mean, that's my choice. I like meat, so I'm going to keep eating it. 
Uh, you don't have to eat meat. That's your choice. That's awesome. Do that. Uh, but I also agree with certain situations. I don't, you know, I was going to get a motorcycle seat. Didn't get leather because I was like, eh, you know, I don't need it. Whatever. I think we're sitting on a pleather couch. Oh uh, yeah, baby. Is it pleather? <laughs> I'm not sure if it's pleather, but it feels like pleather. It feels like pleather. It does feel like pleather. <clears throat> How much you pay for it? Yeah, it's uh, it might be leather, actually. No way, 600 bucks for full brown leather chair. Okay, yeah, maybe not. Anyway, long story short, and here's the thing, I'm not, we're not coming from a place of telling you that this is bad for you. We're just telling you, if you do this, what you can do is, I mean, you can keep emailing people who have, you know, like, you know, pasta bolognese or whatever, you know, so veal chop This goes against city. their name even. Their name is the, the, the people for the ethical treatment of animals, right? Yeah. No it animals being harmed in the naming no, of this yeah, exactly. district. <laughs> what the fuck? I, but if you, if you do keep doing this, which is your prerogative and that's cool, don't get shocked we when people like us who are people who would be with you. I'll tell you what. I that's actually create, a smart I idea. I want to create a new PETA. And my PETA is not that you can't eat meat. It's because it has to be humane. I want to be humane. Well, the yeah. cow, I don't want to have my cows from freaking industrial farms that are injecting them with all kinds exactly. of steroids and like letting them live in these really yeah. closed quarters. Like, fuck all that. KFC, like, fuck those guys. They keep all their chickens like injected with all this shit. They cut their beaks off so they can't peck each other's eyes out. I'm against all of that. Yes. I want to eat awesome free range chickens that are running around yep. living healthy lives and in the last minute they fucking kill them and they put them on my plate. Yep. That's what I want. Yep. I get cage free eggs. I love cage free eggs. Because I'm like, dude, that's a, that's a pretty decent life. You're yeah. just a chicken who's just fucking hanging Pecking around. around and shit. You just get knocked up every time you can. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's a happy chicken. They don't get knocked up, they just go and lay eggs. Yeah, you're laying eggs every chance you can. I mean, whatever. <laughs> I didn't know. Were you were... picture that they fuck and then they go lay eggs so they fucked? No, I didn't really think about it. <laughs> <laughs> My cold makes it sound worse. <laughs> Don't they, they don't, they don't fuck, the roosters oh. are just like, they don't The roosters the are there to like fucking like just keep the bitches in line. <laughs> what the fuck is their job? They're just pimps for the egg industry? Yes. <laughs> you better be laying some eggs. <laughs> Isn't that how it works? They won't lay eggs without a rooster there? No, they'll lay. They will, but just not as fast. Well, how do the eggs, I mean, if you can't. They can't be in the same place. No, but there's got to be, the, the, the guy has to do something in order to make the chicken. It can't just be that all female they chickens do it without guys. The, the do they spray the semen at them or something? They don't spray. Home, call my girlfriend. No, don't ask your She'll girlfriend. She'll know. Do you? Because I. Shh. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Okay. Shh. Dude, you, it's your week. She you better answers. fucking answer because I need this information. I'm gonna Google. <laughs> See who's faster. Google, too, Google or your girlfriend. Hey, babe. Are you there? Yeah. Hey, I just had a quick, I had a quick question for you. Um, we're trying to figure out wh what do roosters do exactly. They have sex with hens. They have so they do they have sex with hens in order to get the eggs? Um, I don't think that they're ne there's fertilized eggs and unfertilized eggs. I think hens lay eggs whether or not they're roosters or not. They definitely do actually. But the roosters do the roosters. Fuck the hens, or do they like spray semen on the eggs? We don't know. They, yeah, they fuck the hens. Okay. All right. <laughs> Alex was right on this one. Thanks, babe. No problem. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Roosters fuck hens. All right. You win this round. Yeah. Oh, good question. Uh, Roosters actually fuck hens. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, Although, you're funny, Verizon, I'm on your hotspot. I was trying to Google while you were talking. Not so much. Well, just get off my hotspot then. Don't, don't turn me off. Don't okay. turn me off. I need to suck off your... your <laughs> don't I didn't. Here we go. So anyway, PETA, we would just ask that... Maybe, <coughs> no, you know what? No, forget it. PETA, keep doing what you're doing. But we should come up with We're the, coming with our own. Yeah. We should fucking do this, dude. We should we're do some PETA. We, no, let's cool do let's people like with fucking... <laughs> Like people for the slang of the ethical slang of animals or something like that. Uh, slang is probably the wrong word, but we'll work on it. <laughs> <laughs> the ethical slang of the ethical mass slaughter of certain animals. Uh, it's got a ring to it, but let's figure it out. It's like cicata. All, right. all right, here we go. So let's talk about some sponsors, shall we? Dice is all about connecting tech pros to the hottest jobs, whether it's on Dice.com or through Dice's best job ever video series. Dice.com has over 70,000 tech jobs at the companies you want to work for. 
Do you want an inside look at the hot companies like Foursquare, Zanga, and YouTube? You've probably never been inside these companies, but you can now with DICE's best job ever video series hosted by the one and only Revision 3's Veronica Belmont. Each episode profiles cool tech pros with their dream jobs. Uh, Here are two opportunities right now on DICE. Akamai, who you've all probably heard of before, they are the world's largest global distributed computing platform handling 20% of the internet's traffic, if you you can believe it or not, that's insane. They're looking for a lead software engineer uh, who's responsible for running their worldwide network, um, over 70,000 servers. Napster, one of the world's most recognized brands in online music, everyone knows what Napster is, is looking for a Java application developer with a strong understanding of object-oriented programming to work in their web-based API development system. So another great job there. Whether you're inspired by software engineering, mobile app development, or even video game design, you can find your next great gig on Dice.com. Interesting. That's probably it's a pretty good thing to be doing right now. I like it a lot. Anyway, uh, it also, is. you know what I mean? There's a lot of freaking like, yeah. tech jobs right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, I was driving in. There were so many freaking <laughs> billboards that were like, this company.com slash jobs, this company.com slash hire, this company. I was like, geez, it's, it's awesome. It's a good, it's a nice little blow up. Uh, Netflix, with more than 20 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service, instantly streaming TV episodes and movies over the internet and sending you DVDs and Blu-rays via the mail system. Uh, Members can instantly watch thousands of titles on a vast array of devices, uh, including uh, Microsoft 360, Xbox 360, uh, Sony PlayStation 3, the Nintendo Wii, uh, as a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you want for one low monthly pl- price, and there are no late fees or due dates. As a new member and a Dignation viewer, you can get a free trial membership. Just go to netflix.com slash Dignation, sign up now. Thank you very much, all of you sponsor people. Uh, last story. Sweet. Last story of the day <clears throat> is yours. No, it's not. It is mine. This is awesome. This is... Cool looking accident in steel factory. Okay, this was interesting. 454 digs. I did not see this. So, this is uh, some steel being poured. Check this out. Here we go. Oh, fuck, don't look. I'm not, I'm not looking. Okay. And I might have to refresh and refreshing. Can I, is it? Uh, okay, starting okay. from the beginning. Starting from the beginning. Checking audio. Checking the audio level. Me, 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 me. Pa, 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 pa. Fail or Massive people moving in a fan. Sorry, people. Technical difficulties. Here we go. Is so some guys are chilling. They're like, okay, here, we here go. comes the steel. Pouring. Oh, cool. Is that steel pouring through? Holy shit. Are you kidding me? No. I love the one guy's like, woo! How amazing is that? Holy crap. I love how no one ran. I don't know about you, if I saw that happening, I'd yeah. be like, let's get the fuck out of here. That is, first off, that's gorgeous. Uh, do they spray it with water? Oh, uh, I bet you it seemed like a motherfucker. Yeah, I know. Well, well you don't clean it up with like a fucking like, broom. broom. <laughs> you just uh, pick it up after it cools. Yeah, you cool it down, you cut it into pieces, and you clean it up. Yeah, I mean, wouldn't it just, I mean, all of a sudden you got steel that's touched. Camera on yourself. Well, I think all that stuff is probably, is probably, uh... It's yeah, but it'll cool down, and then there's, like, yeah, solvents. Yeah, it's, like, concrete. I mean, it doesn't, it, like I'm steel sure it's gone. not melted into concrete. They could heat it up again. Like spray with some steel be gone. Yeah, some goof off or something. Steel off. Steel off. Some, uh, some steel Brillo pads. All right, that's all I got. Just rub it a bit. <laughs> Where was that, by the way? France or something? Uh, that was in, uh, Madagascar. That's not true. All right. (laughs) Well, that is it for this week's edition of This Here Dignation. Uh, Until next time, look to the skies.